The NOAA announced on Thursday that El Nino conditions have developed. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association, or NOAA, has observed water temperatures in the equatorial Pacific Ocean remain 0.5 degrees Celsius above average for over three months. Trade winds blowing from east to west across the equatorial Pacific send warm surface waters to the eastern Pacific, generating a low-pressure area over which storms form. El Nino occurs when the winds reverse for periods as long as several months, causing warm water to spread over the central and eastern Pacific. This reorganizes rainfall and atmospheric circulation, bringing unseasonal and intense weather, which can cause brush fires in Australia and flooding in South America. The Climate Prediction Center says there's a 50 to 60 percent chance that the 2015 El Nino will continue through spring. El Nino will likely provide some rainfall relief to drought-stricken California, but it's not expected to have drastic global effects. El Nino tends to increase precipitation along U.S. coastlines, but the Midwest and Northwest tend to see a decrease from the average. The frequency of precipitation is also affected in comparison to average frequency. El Nino also tends to suppress hurricane activity in the Atlantic Ocean by causing higher wind shear, which spreads storms out over a larger area. Your smartest, most insightful comments can win you $100 only at tomonews.net.